they have so many difficulties to change something. And here we're talking about solutions and we are ready to change now. We need something more. We need a movement that's something more. We need a movement that's beyond prepared not only to consume ideas. Ladies and gentlemen, this is sustainable design. Designing sustainably is facilitating the process even 150 years into the future. This is BBC World News Today. I'm Samantha Simmons. I believe just be yourself is incomplete advice if you want to be successful in today's market. Because what the world is really telling you is be yourself, but measure up. I think that uh, it doesn't matter whether it's uh, Formula One cars, whether it's designing games, whether it's, it's any any other industry, you, you've got to have a passion for what you do. Really take a look at your own sense of purpose and your big Really one. taking that time to step back from the permanent busyness and the craziness of our lives and say, why do I do what I do? There's all these steps. Do a bit less projects, but do them right. Focus on quality, become the best on whatever you like and you're good at, become the best. I'm a French nerd. And I have two passions in life, so I hope I can communicate this. I am passionate about the brain, and I'm passionate about marketing. Somebody is doing it. You need to do is to copy, adapt, and paste. It's saying, how can you change the game? I want to be the best I can be, but also to come back as a stronger version of Lawrence Stedman, be, be faster, be tougher, be more resilient. The performance is as nothing if we are not equally managing the risks. And the risk management within our industry is pretty brutal because the outcomes when we get it wrong are potentially catastrophic. How do we get rid of a lot of the misunderstanding, the confusion, to really, truly not have fake consensus building, but collaborate with purpose? I'm going to give you a warning now. Uh, the comfort zone is left behind. I'm going to come to you about thinking the unthinkable. What unthinkables are on your mind? And I'd like to share a few observations in terms of the exact ways in which the way the world is changing and what we can do about it. Because it was a dilemma making you human. It's your culture that kills half of you. And it's not good enough in the world we're living. It's all about delivering value over time and being trusted by the client to be able to continue that relationship. So when it comes to dealing with changes that we'd never choose, if we can choose the right attitude, there is real hope and the possibility to achieve even the biggest of hurdles. Thanks very much.